on our live feed, Scotland to play Italy for the bronze medal. Lying five against in the first end. Pressure on Bruce Mowat. Needing the forfeit for the ball. single point. Close, slow. Five, four. Well, five, Touch four. heavy, okay, says okay, the sweepers. Okay. So not wanting to sweep it, just okay. creeping past the top yellow. It will sit in time. Scotland off the hook. Lead by one. After one. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're missing two. Yeah. In the second end. It would be uh, Joel Retornaz's turn to play the draw, this time against a two. Arman was honor. On the sweep will guide the stone on to the button, a single point and a tied game after two ends of play. Trading singles in the third and fourth end as well. Taking us to the fifth, a missed run back by Joel Retornaz on his first. Doesn't get the perfect roll on his second, so leaves a chance for Bruce Mowat to play the nose hit, score the two. Ninth end, last stone for Bruce Mowat. The roll underneath cover, not perfect from Joel Retornaz. Textbook stuff from the Scottish skip to put two points on the board and take a massive three-point lead coming into the 10th end. Uh, well, we got the stones in play. Scotland thinking guard or double run. It would be the second. Scotland with their last trying to go red, red, yellow. You can see Grant Hardy's face. He's not too pleased. Shot missed. And just like that, a chance for Team Italy to score three. A well-built end by the mastermind. Just looking to cash in with a touch shot. The soft weight to kick the red far enough, hold the shooter, score the three, and certainly would. Tying up the game after 10 to play one more. And what an end Italy played as well. Shot stone on the button, throws the guard. Only one shot left for Bruce Mowat to come off the winger with 10 seconds to spare. Five, five. Hard, hard, hard. Hammy on the brush, big hard, weight coming off hard. the yellow on the side, but it's not enough to move the shot stone Italy with a stolen point and the stolen bronze medal. A 7-6 final and a massive comeback for Team Italy. Joe, many congratulations. World bronze medalist, how do you feel right now? I feel amazing. It's like winning a goal right now for me. The way we won this game, the, the way the team fought the, during the whole game. We struggled in the beginning a little bit, some shots here and there missed, and then we gave everything we had in the in the 10th. We we knew we still had a very, very small chance against them. We needed misses from Scotland. They made some misses, and then we we were pumped up for the extra end. We, I think we played 100% in the extra end. And Scotland were very good at forcing you throughout the whole game. You struggled just to get that multiple score. Yeah. But in that 10th end, where did it come from? 
Yeah, we, we were able to build in deuces during the whole game, but then we were just missing one shot here and there, as I said, and uh, we were destroying the, the work we had done so far in, the, in those ends. But in the 10th, we said, OK, let's try to, to play in the center and do something different and see if we can get some, break it, some breaks. And they made some mistakes, which we were not expecting, but of course, we, we were taking them and uh, we, we played all in and uh, it paid off. And how much fun has it been for you with the fans here this weekend? Oh, they've been amazing. I've, I've been saying that every interview I've made this week. They've been amazing. Not only our fans, but all fans from Switzerland, from other countries like Scotland. They've been amazing. I think it's good for the sport of curling and we need those people here. Uh, we had a lot of people from our town in, in Italy and also the fans back home. And I say hi to Cembra, to our fans who are back home, uh, because we really feel the support they give us every day. And you won bronze two years ago. How does this one fare? With this strong lineup here this week, the the field is super strong, as you said. Uh, lots of good teams here, and uh, we're super proud uh, to finish uh, top three in the, in, a, in a world championship. It's it's a medal. It means a lot to us. It means a lot for our country, and uh, we are showing that uh, we deserve to be here. It's the third uh, semi final in three years we we play, and uh, we get to win two medals out of three events. I think it's pretty good. Well, many congratulations. Enjoy the celebrations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh, yep.